Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thanks for watching this video. And today I'm going to be showing you a Cinema 4D tutorial which consists of making an earth or a globe, whatever you prefer it to be called, even though they're both the same thing. Now this is what the final outcome will look like. This is just, as you can see, it's a bit blurry, but if you just hit the snapshot icon here, it will basically render the picture out and as you can see it's nice and smooth. Now, I will say one thing before we start, guys. I've realised that my mouse hasn't been shown in a couple of the couple of my past tutorials. However, if I go to just uh, bring up this little box here, that's what I record with. And if I go to Effects Cursor, and if I go to Show Cursor, and I try and click and hold to make the circle, it won't let me click and hold, and it will just apply as a click. Um, so if I just delete that cube and just, you try and click and hold, you click and hold there, let go, but it, it, it doesn't register, it just registers as a click. Now I'm not sure why this is, but if I go to effects, cursor and hide cursor, click and hold, it will allow me to click and hold. So as a result of this, I'm going to have to explain everything in depth for you guys exactly what I mean. Because I know it can be pretty tricky without a mouse. So to get this started... You want to go to File, New, and it'll bring up this new thing here. And as you see at the top panels, just above the screen, there'll be a little square box that I just clicked. Now, we well, with the square being displayed, click and hold, and you want to go to Sphere. And as you'll see, it brings the attributes down here in the right. If you can see me highlighting these little sections here, you want to go to, uh, where is it? It's Object, and under Radius... You want to change your radius, make it a bold 300, nice and big. Now, as you see here, the, the more segments it is, the more smooth the, 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 the curves will be. So, you just want to increase the segments so it's all the more smoother. As you see there, I'll close that for you. So, you've got the basic sphere globe shaped here. Now, what I want to do is you want to get the world map to go around it. Now this can be done by double clicking in the bottom space. You see where the uh, the preview screen is just below there's a big grey area and there's under the materials just there where I just highlighted. Go to file and new material or you can hit control and N if you're not sure what I mean. Now where it brings up the little ball thumbnail down here, double click on it and it'll just bring up the properties of the of the material. So under the color tab you see that it gives you three different options that are available to uh, to change. Color, brightness and texture. Now on texture you see there's three different boxes. Click the one on the right with the three little dots as you'll see there it's suppressed. So click that little box and it'll just let you import an image. Now I've got an image on the desktop. You I'll put the link to the image in the, in the description for you to download or if you want to find one yourself you can. But this is the image and you want to click yes. And as you see it brings up that thumbnail there. And then once that's done you just want to exit out of it. Now with that little thumbnail you want to click and hold and you just want to drag it up. And I click and drag on the thumbnail and drag it up to the top right where it says sphere and then just drop down it should have the little down arrow and then drop down and it should should basically overlay onto that and that is to be honest about it what you could maybe do is if that's the floor click the sphere and move it up so it's a bit higher in the air now to to rotate the earth what you want to do is you want to have the rotate tool selected and you want to have this up there in the top panel and you want to have sphere selected on the right hand side under objects so it should turn white with all the different segments now on zero frames if you just hit if you see where it says this little time frame down here that I'm moving the little green box just below where that little green box says there's a little little red button the one on the left that's got a little key hit that and if you just move forward about X amount of frames, or what doesn't really matter, and you just rotate it by using the green little arrow dimension things there, and then hit the keyframe button again, that'll keyframe it so it's there. So if I click off that and go back, you'll see it's rotating. 
Now you can do that for a 360 view, so it's, and maybe even it's orbiting, you do the same applies, but just with the move tool. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, if you didn't get anything in that, which I understand some people won't, because it's really tricky to follow a tutorial without a mouse, just just keep going over it and watching it, and maybe post in the comments, and I'll, I'll try and respond to that for you. But anyway, that is about it. And also, you can maybe make a new sky if you know how to. Uh, go away. We see where it says the f the four different arrows at the top. Let's press go to sky, and I'll just make a new sky view. And you can maybe do the same same technique that I used for the globe, but add some stars maybe. Uh, it depends. It's up to you if you wish. Can be quite cool, I suppose. But anyway, that's about it for today's tour, guys. Uh, thank you all for subscribing. It means a lot. It really does. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no mouse, but. It's the best I could do. If there's anything you guys could suggest, uh, it'll be greatly appreciated. But that's about it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.